How often have you wanted to delete something from Launchpad? This little application stores all of your different apps so that you can easily find them and launch them for your daily use. But a lot of times you want to get rid of some of the applications that are inside of here. Now, Apple made it really easy for you to uninstall apps from the App Store. Just hold down the Alt button and hit the X. But a lot of our apps that are on our computers aren't installed from the Mac App Store. In fact, most of them are not. So there are a couple different ways you can delete them, and I noticed a lot of internet tutorials make this way too complicated. They go into the terminal, they try to go through source code and all that stuff. You really don't have to. Now, what you'll find a lot of already is the simple go to your applications folder, find the application and delete it. Now, this works all fine and dandy as long as nothing goes wrong on your computer. If your application is right here, then you can easily find it, drag it to your trash bin, and then it's gone forever. But chances are uh, you will eventually have an app like the Stanley Parable right here that was installed through Steam that doesn't show up in your applications folder. So what most people know about for their application alias is the one that shows up on the sidebar or also from the hard drive and that is the applications folder right here. However, there is a second applications folder that a lot of people don't know about. It's under your users. Uh, for me, my user is also right on the sidebar right over there. That can be changed from your finder preferences if you really want it. But uh, in your user library, there is actually a separate applications folder. Now, I don't know why some applications install their application aliases to this folder rather than the normal applications folder. Maybe they don't want it mixing with other applications or you accidentally deleting it. For whatever the reason, there is a hidden applications folder right here. And once you get to this applications folder, you can simply find whatever app it is that you're trying to get rid of. So for me, the Stanley Parable. And from here, you could drag it to your trash bin then if we go to our launch pad we'll notice if you give it a second it disappears and here we are i've gotten rid of the application alias successfully now the important thing is that application was damaged all it was was a little icon that i wanted to get rid of but if you have a fully fledged installed applications like one of these up here you're going to want to make sure you go to some type of software that delete all the files from your computer which we outlined in the video down in the description hope you enjoyed